hello beautiful people welcome back again to another tutorial and for this tutorial we'll be learning how to make this beautiful shallow neck top with a high back so if you're ready let's get started for this tutorial you'll be needing a basic bodice if you don't know how to drop the basic bodice Please check the description box for the link to the video. So I'm going to place this bodice on a plain pattern paper and I'm going to use my tracing wheel to retrace the pattern. So I'm going to stop where I want the top to be because it's going to be a short top. So I'll just, I measured 20 inches so that's where my top is going to stop you can see the dots made by the tracing wheel i'm just going to use my marker to retrace those lines So after I'm done tracing the lines, I'm just going to use my scissors to cut out our new pattern. So this is going to be the first pattern that we'll be turning into a cow neck. So I'm going to come down by 3 inches to give my neck a V shape and I'm going to cut that out. And from that part, I'm going to mark the points for our cow neck. So I'm going to mark two inches four and six inches so those are going to be the three points for our cow neck and then on the shoulder parts i'm going to mark two inches i'm going to mark four inches and then i'm going to come down the armhole and mark another four inch so i'm going to use the cuff part of my ruler to connect the points so i'll be connecting the third point to i'll be connecting the third point together the second point together and then the first point so this point will actually be our cutting point so i'm just using a scissors mark to label there so this will be our cutting line so i'm going to take the scissors and i'm going to cut this out and please why slashing the lines do not slash it off okay just leave very little at the end to help you spread properly so after slashing them i'm just going to place this pattern on another pattern paper where i'll be doing the spreading of our slashes so i'm going to spread the slashes leaving about two inches between each slashed pattern like I'm doing so I'm just using a tape to hold it to the pattern so you can actually make yours bigger than I did it's just that I have limited fabric so I'm working with this because of my fabric so I'm going to retrace the pattern like I'm doing and I'm going to just remove the excess so that it has a definite shape okay so I'm going to cut this out now because this is our pattern I actually forgot to make room for our facing for the neck so i'm just going to fold our pattern paper and try to retrace our shoulder and neck parts so that we'll have the facing for the neck okay so i want the neck facing to be two inches long so i just measured that and i'm going to connect those points so if I flip it over, you can see already that the, 
you can see already that the mark is showing there because of i'm using a marker so it just prints itself onto the other side of the paper so i'm just going to cut that off and after cutting it off i'm going to notch the facing so that i know where the facing starts and where my shoulder stops and starts okay so this is the front pattern so for the back i'm just going to do the same i'm going to retrace the pattern on a plain paper and then i'm going to cut so i'm going to reduce the neck i'm going to come down by three inches and mark out our zip allowance okay and so now we have the front and the back pattern so now i'm going to be using this crepe fabric to cut out the pattern so i'll be cutting this pattern the front pattern on layers folding so i'm just going to add half one inch sewing allowance by the side half inch around the armhole and one inch for the hemming part so i'm just going to cut this and this is the front pattern and now don't forget to notch your facing so for the back i had to alter the back because like i said i didn't have enough fabric so i decided to make my back a high back and i also decided to reduce my zip allowance since i won't be putting zip i'll be using snap buttons at the back so this is now our new back pattern so i'm just going to recut it and i'm going to add my sewing allowance while cutting it and now we have our front and back pattern so let's go to the sewing part to use these bias strips of one inch that I cut using the fabric to turn all the armholes. So I'm going to place it on the armhole and sew half inch, and then I'm going to notch it to reduce tension, and I'm also going to reduce it because I don't want the armhole to be bulky, and then I'm going to fold it like this, and then I'm going to stitch on it this is how our arm, all our arm rules will be like so I've, I've done the front part so I'm doing the back part now and after sewing the back I'm, whole, I'm going to also fold the back neck part using the same one inch bias strip of the fabric don't forget to always notch okay so that you reduce tension and cutting off helps give you a neater and lighter turning so after that i'm going to join the shoulders going to join the front and the back using a half inch okay so after joining the shoulders then i'm going to join the sides of the fabric using half inch and after joining the sides i'm going to now hem our outfits okay please don't forget to always iron after each part okay i didn't show the ironing part but i actually ironed it so i'm going to hem this by folding quarter inch so all together i folded half inch so i first folded quarter and then i used quarter inch to cover up because i want my hemming to be light because the fabric is quite thick so 
so after hemming this i went on to iron it and so now i'm going to use the bias stripe to finish the zip parts so i'm just going to sew a half inch and i'm going to use my cover stitch machine to finish this up so i'm going to do the same to the other side then take this to my cover stitch machine and stitch it so this is how it looks after stitching it down with my cover stitch machine and i've ironed this i'll be using needle and thread to attach these snap buttons to the back and i'll also be using this pearl so i'll do this behind camera and show you the finished look this is how it looks after sewing it it is simple and it is beautiful so this is the front and this is the back so don't forget to subscribe like share and leave a comment bye